Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D. I'm Vlad Duchev and today today we're going to do a review of one of the probably one of the oldest uh, and used to be Rolls-Royce of plain air easel uh, shot box or plain air easel and it is open box M easel right here. So we'll take a look at I don't like the word review We'll just take a look inside, outside, pros, cons, and why it's used to be, why it's no longer Rolls Royce, or maybe it's still Rolls Royce. I don't know. You will make a decision. So let's dive in and see what we can find about this easel. So let's get started. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the easel open box M easel which used to be uh, Rolls-Royce of the easels. Uh, a lot of artists still using this easel. Uh, that's the reason I got this easel. And to be honest, I didn't put a lot of use uh, in easel using this easel uh, because of the, a lot of issues. But I always, when I go to uh, plain air competitions uh, and paintings, and if I'm traveling, I normally take this easel with me as a secondary easel. Uh, and to be honest, I'm gonna switch probably to Yugo easel, which I will do next time, uh, probably, I don't know, within the months. Um, Yugo easel, which is really, really, uh, I really like it. So we'll do the review. Let's talk about this easel. Why am I gonna talk about Yugo easels if we're talking about open box and easel? All right, so let's dive in and see what we can find uh, bad about this easel or good about this easel. I'm gonna give you my uh, kind of review or my opinion about this easel, but you are gonna make your own decision. So we're gonna talk about five items. Item number one is design of this easel. It's very, very important, always important. Design of the easel, how, you know, how well it's designed. Uh, is it designed by artist or is it designed by cabinet maker who doesn't know anything about uh, painting. So uh, in design, you will see it right away. Number two, item will be materials. What materials they use, manufacturer used to, or whoever made, made this easel or making this easel. What materials they use to build this, uh, it's also very important. Uh, and craftsmanship. Number three, we'll have, I have a cheat sheet right there, so I'm actually reading, even though I do it all the time. So number three will be ease of use. Very, very important, at least important for me. Very, you know, how, how easy it is to use this easel uh, when you, you know, when you have your backpack on your, on your back, you hiking and you see something to paint, how easy it is uh, and how fast you can set it up. Number four is modification, how easy it's to modify. If you watch my video about Strata, Zilch modification because it's made from a box. I mean from metal, not from box. It's a box, but it's made from metal, uh, aluminum actually, and there's very, very hard to uh, modify. And number five uh, will be price, a lead time, how fast they can make it and ship it to you, and support, which is very, very important. If something is, you know, breaks, you need some replacements, how easy to actually to get to a manufacturer, how they uh, reply and how they deal with you. So it's very, very important. And to be honest, I deal with all of them. I sometimes just call and say, pretend I have problems just to see if, how fast they, you know, uh, and they tr they're trying to sell me something on top or they supporting and so on and so on and so on. So let's go to number one, which is design. So design of this box. Oh, all right. So this used to be a Rolls Royce uh, of all the easels. You see this easel everywhere uh, because it was probably only one kind of professionally made and well made. Uh, when we talk about craftsmanship, craftsmanship is a really, really good. I would give solid four uh, stars out of five. <laughs> I'll tell you why. So design. Let me show you how it actually works. So on the back, on the back you have uh, the hole for your ball head plate, as usual. So it's not, it's actually using ball head plate to be connected to your tripod. I have a tripod right here. Uh, two hinges 
on the back right here to you know when you open it then you have this let me stop this uh, then you have this interesting mechanism to support uh, your canvas and again I will show you in a minute and and this uh, mechanism of um, um, kind of keeping the angle when you open the box and this is it also they have some accessories when they come with the box you have to order it um, for example this plate or wings what I call it which, which you can uh, connect uh, on the side of the easel and um, you can order two or, or or one I just order one just for reviews and on the back you have this spring-loaded copper uh, thing I don't know how to call it uh, where you can actually slide your wing and it actually supports inside the box so let's see how we can actually you know install it on our or set it up on our easel I mean on our type pad and open it up so you have a uh, ball head plate so you just put it in your which is very easy and the easel is actually on the tripod right now like this now how to open it let me turn it I will be moving this easel a lot so how to open it you have this mechanism on the, on the side uh, this is I, I believe 11 by 14 or 9 by 12 9 by 12 easel they have three sizes uh, 8 by 11 8 by 10 9 by 12 11, 11 by 14 I think and that's it I think but you can always go to website and check it out now on the bigger boxes uh, you have this mechanism on both sides on 9 by 12 or 8 by 10 they have you know what let me measure this what size this is it's just bugging me so this is 13 by nine and a half so it's nine by twelve yeah so how to open this box you have to there is how many one two three four um, kind of knobs that you have to unscrew so first one is this then this one then this one then this one a lot to be honest for me it's a lot now you open the box and it's not holding it's it's uh, you know, nothing is there is no spring loaded uh, hinges it's just regular door hinges kind of small or cabinet hinges so you open it up then you push this piece right here toward me or toward back of the easel and this is how you're gonna control uh, your angle of your um, canvas holder so for right now you push it in or push it outside in the back you have to tie this knob first one and then one knob at the bottom to secure this now this is still going right but this will still moving uh, to the length of this bracket right here so if I move it right here it stops because the, this is the end of this bracket right and if I push it down I can completely open it and this is I like this is only one thing I like in this easel you can completely 100 180 degree opening which is good so to secure uh, the angle you just push it like this tie this one and tie this wing nuts wing nuts that's it now the easel is open and this is the mechanism right here okay so now easel is open let me put it this way so you can see how to secure the um, or how to install the canvas on this easel very very easy I will use let me use small one I will show you small one and the big one so they have two arms one arm, arm is not spring loaded and one is spring loaded you can probably hear it <laughs> So this is a spring loaded and it has the tolerance of probably half inch movement all right on the back let me instead of um i'll just turn this like this so on the back you have two uh wind knots well i'll just call it nuts uh one is at the 
Yeah. So if you look at right here, one is at the top, a little bit, you know, higher, and this a little bit lower. So when you turn it, the top one is not spring loaded. It's just fixed uh, size. So basically, you unscrew it, and then you move it. Whatever. This is your starting point. This is your starting point. All right. So let me tie this. Now this one on the back. If you untied it, you can move it. Let me turn it back and I'm gonna move it. You can see it. I can move this, right? And I can completely extend this outside of the box right here. I can untie this and I can extend it outside of the box. So this is the this is the largest on this box, the largest canvas that it can support. And let me measure it. I'm gonna do it in front of you. So this is 18 inches and you have half inch to hold it so about 18 inches 18 yeah 18 inches so you can support 18 inches wide and whatever uh, how, how high it's, it's there is no limits you can go you can pick this guy <laughs> uh, so 18 inches on this box the bigger box you can do bigger now let's put it back and see how we can actually so you move the left the right one the first fixed it meaning, meaning tied it and then <clears throat> and this is what I, did. I don't really don't like in this easel uh, i mean in design of this uh, easel so basically what you have to do is measure approximately measure your canvas I've seen in some easel and some artists, they have a marks. This is nine by 10, this is 12, by, nine by, uh, 10, eight by 10, nine by 12, 11 by 14, and so on and so on. So they, they know where to move. Or sometimes you see these lines and they know, okay, so this is my six by eight. If you can see it, this is my six by eight, but I just move it so we show you how to do it. So basically you just measure, you move this about quarter inch inside, quarter inch smaller. So if this is my, uh, eight inches right wide and I want to paint this way horizontal I will make this as a five and three quarter distance okay just slightly smaller and tie this in the back and then all you have to do is put your canvas for panel against the spring loaded arm and then push it and rest it on against the fixed one and that's it it looks like it very easy looks like very easy but it's i don't know i i just it's my opinion again i'm not you know i definitely not get you know get paid for an open box am for doing this review because you know i i don't like this uh, this easel um but you may actually you, know, you may like it um just try it I'm just giving you my opinion on this easel because it's my channel. I can do my opinion, right? All right. So this is how you do horizontal. If you want to paint vertical, uh, all you have to do is just push it. And again, it's uh, you have to make it smaller. So let's move this like here and we have to move the bottom one. I guess you can get used to it smaller like this and all we have to do just push it against and voila and you can paint this way all right and you can move it this way this way to the left to the right uh depends on 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 your canvas size basically all right so this is how you um connect or not connect how you set up your ca canvas panel on this easel you can do lower you can do it like this you can actually move it up uh it's shaky this is a little very shaky overall but you know it's 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 nice you know what maybe i should start using it no i can i can i love my day tripper and by the way my easel that i design is always done it's, it's an actually in production so i'm gonna talk about that as well all right, so this is how you set up the easel. Palette, 
Uh, it actually comes with um, wooden. I think it's like plywood, uh, wood uh, colors. I just installed the uh, plastic glass uh, with a gray color, you know, painted gray on the back and then put it inside, cut it and then put a silicone all around because I, I don't like painting on, on a wooden surface. But if that's your case, uh, it comes actually uh, very nicely done uh, plywood. Treated with oil also, which is very important. All right, so we talk about mechanism, we talk about the, this mechanism, how to connect your easel. This is spring-loaded plat and like copper piece that you can mm, you put something behind. I when I when I'm using this or when I used to use this easel, I put two panels, empty blank panels behind as a carrier, um, just as a carrier, extra uh, canvases, and it's only six by eight will fit. All right, um, what else on design? This is basically this is a ah main thing I forgot. So if you look right here, and I'll show you, you will see this nuts right here. This this is one nut, and they have those nuts on every, let me take it off the tripod. Basically, this is a nut right here, and they have this nuts on each corner. I removed them because I, I found this very annoying when you're sliding this easel into the back, it's always catching the, something in the back. So I just removed them. Why? Uh, and actually cut the length of the of the screw or the bolt uh, to make sure it's not sticking too much. And I have to use one just to secure um, the mechanism, locking mechanism. Why they had four of them? Uh, very easy. They have this plate, uh, which you can connect on a side like this to put your brushes or whatever to put something on, maybe a cup holder. Um, medium cup holder uh, or anything else. So basically you just slide like this, under, unscrew it. I can show you. You unscrew it, you slide this in, and then just screw it in. And it will be, you know, I cut the bolt because I'm not using it. Uh, it basically will stay like this as extension for, you can do it on both sides. Uh, I remove them simply because and put it back simply because I removed the this nuts uh, only simply because they were annoying by when I put uh, this easel in my back backpack it's always catching uh, they, they're really point pointy and also this plate is is useless um, I had I used it actually once and during that day when I was painting all my brushes was like constantly falling uh, from this because there is no stopper on the side. So every time you put a brush and the brush is like rim and in, in the grass or in the sand, sand, dirty, you have to clean it. So I just personally, this is my opinion again. And this is, I think this is, in my opinion, this is a flaw in design um, because there's no north sides. Yeah, you can use it on either side. They think like, wow, this is a very smart, we can cut on both, you know, on both sides. You can use it on the left side. You can use it on the right side. Great idea, but there is no stopper. You know, in order to stop actually this, uh, the brushes falling. Yeah, there's a solution. All we have to do just put the cup holder on one side, and when you put the brushes, let me take the brush. When you put the brush right here, so, so basically your cup holder is stopping for for you know. For your brushes to fall that's a solution but we're talking about oops <laughs> we're talking about design uh, of this user and this is a flow flow design or design flow in my opinion again it's my opinion my humble opinion about this easel all right so this is about design so let's talk about item number two materials so materials are actually excellent and I, I, you have to give you have to give uh or I have to give a five star for the materials. They have, I forgot what's wood, what wood, but this is exotic wood they're using for uh, for the framing. Um, very light, very, very light. 
and very hard. Uh, they have plywood, which they nail, and I believe they glue it, and then nailed. You can see a lot of nails around. It's like a pr proud uh, cabinet maker nailing, <laughs> I call it. So you see them on the back right here. You can see it right here, all around. Um, so the materials are great, except the metal pieces. Uh, this piece, aluminum, could be lighter, much, much lighter. But it's a very, very heavy. It's li literally um, one eighth, uh, very heavy. It's aluminum, it's light. Uh, then the brass pieces, handmade, everything is handmade. Actually, they, they claiming on their website, they claiming that this is handmade easily, and, it, and it's true. And craftsmanship is really, really good on this uh, on this easel, and it's it's craftsmanship of handmade easel, and I can tell you why. Uh, also, uh, the, this mechanism, if you can see closer, um, they actually when this piece was ins installed inside this box, it's a smaller than the box. And you can see the wings of the, you know on both ends bend it, so they probably stretch stretch it to just to connect. Uh, so it's a good sign of you know not machinery cut, so they're cutting it probably by hand, not by hand, you know, uh, measuring by hand. So every box is measured probably you know all the time. Now this is the only um, the answer to why this box is bigger compared to this mechanism. And it's bigger. It's probably one eighth wider than this mechanism. So, or they did doing it all the time, or this is a flow. So I'm not sure. Uh, other than that, everything is great. The only th only thing that I, you know, when I received this box and I really like, you know, seriously, I was waiting for this box for four weeks, and when I got it, and I'll show you. Let me close it, and again, to close it, you have to unscrew all these screws, which is, you know, some people who are using this easel, like, probably gonna laugh at me and say, oh, you know what, this is nothing. Guys, try uh, Day Tripper, and you will see the difference. Day Tripper, literally 20 seconds, I can paint. This, you have to hustle and bustle. What I don't like in, in this um, craftsmanship, when I got this box and I closed it, I had about one of, maybe not one, one eighth of opening, maybe one sixteenth of opening. So basically, this was closing completely, like, like right now, and this was, has a hole inside. So when they installed this um, hinge, they not properly installed it, so they had opening. And it's still actually opening because what I did, I actually redrill, and you can probably, if you can see the holes right here, I redrill the, you know, the uh, the holes and reinstall the hinges. The first day I got this box, I closed it, like said, "Wow, this is this is not good." So um, they were rushing through, or I'm not sure. But this is the only one thing that I actually redid. I tried to screw the, the screws on the side, which holds the panels. They tied, so that part was good. All right, so this is all about materials and craftsmanship. So craftsmanship, I would give them four, solid four, uh, only because the hinges wasn't installed properly. That's only one thing. So let's move to ease of use. Ease of use, I would give, I would give probably three. Uh, three stars out of five, and I'll tell you why. After using Day Tripper uh, by Josh Bean, prolific painters, uh, or prolificpainter.com uh, easel, which I love, it's my number one easel because it's so easy to use. This will get only three. If maybe if I didn't have my uh, my um, Day Tripper, I would give maybe four, maybe even five. But I unfortunately have you know seven easels to compare, <laughs> and. And unfortunately, open box M. So, but I know a lot of people are still using it, and they, you know, they love this easel. Go, you know, it's great. Uh, just try it. Maybe you will like it. So, how easy to use? You pull it uh, from your back. Let's say I pull it from the back. I set it up. I have to screw it. 
not big deal, you know, it's many easels like this. Then I have to, as I said, I have to unscrew this. I'm showing you, I have to unscrew this. I have to unscrew this. I have to unscrew this. I have to still unscrew this. Open it. Then I have to push this here. It will take seconds, I know. Guys, you know, who are using this easel, I know all this you're gonna say. It's so easy, like seconds. Try day tripper. All right, so now I secure this. Now I can secure this. Now I have to find the angle I want to paint. So I normally paint with this angle, kind of, on a shot box like this. Now I have to find the angle of this, uh, which is okay. Let's say I'm gonna paint on this angle. Tie this, tie this. Yeah, kind of ready to go, okay? Now I pull my panel. Let's say I want to paint. Let me grab another one. Let's say I want to paint, paint horizontal. This is eight by eight by sixteen panel. All right. So now I have to work the magic of setting it up. Unscrew. Sometimes it's very hot. Top. Okay. So let's say I'm gonna be somewhere here. So you count in time, setting it up. All right. I didn't. All right, now this will be my, and I want to be a little bit smaller than this. Okay, now I'm setting it up, pushing it and releasing it. Hmm. Not bad, right? Not really bad. Um, and I can paint. So let me show you. Now this is a easel I normally use. It's shaky, but not that bad. So, and that's normal. What I, you know, how I test the easels. It, it's shaky. This is not. This is good. So if I'm mixing, it's not that sh that shaky. But this is shaky because of the arms. All right. So this is how you can paint. Now you need to have, if you have those uh, nuts, you can put, you can install this in, and put your cup holder on the side so you can use this as your brush holder and so that the brush is not falling from this not well designed wing. Um, you can use, that's easy, kind of, you know, kind of easy to use. Kind of easy, and kind of fast, kind, <laughs> kind of. Um, so this is this is will be uh, ease of use. I don't know what else to say about this. Um, I like this idea of this easels when the palette is close to your canvas and you can compare whatever you mix in right here. You can really look peak. Uh, on a day tripper, when I paint on a day tripper, uh, I have to remove my eyes from actual from the canvas and look at the palette. And then from when I'm mixing, I have to move the paint and sometimes it's a little bit off. There is a pros and cons for this. Pros, I'm moving my eyes from, my, from, from the canvas. I'm not looking at the canvas. Even for you know, 10 seconds one, or 15 seconds when I'm mixing colors. That's good. That's, that's, it's a pro. The con is <clears throat> I'm having a hard time to comparing. So when it's close to palette, close to the canvas, it's easy to compare what you're mixing. And sometimes I found that when I'm mixing my colors, when I'm painting on easel like this, on a Peshat box, it's much easier for me. I'm, and I'm matching colors much easier than I'm, when I'm painting on, on, on Day Tripper. And it's true fact. I have to, tell, I have to say it, <laughs> even though I love my uh, Day Tripper, but it's true. All right, so this is ease of use. Now, let's talk about modification. Also, no, 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 let's stay on ease of use. Now, we're talking. When this is wet, and this is why I really don't like this easel. I mean, again, this is my opinion, my humble opinion about this easel. I, I you know, have a hard time removing it. Even though I found a way, so you just grab, you know, you let me turn it. You grab this arm right here, which is 
arm that holds the angle off and we just push this toward the lo spring loaded uh, piece and then we just remove this but keep in mind there is a strength so that's not like you can you can take it like like this like we normally take it i take it from my day trip or like this and easily you know putting it i'm i can carry this with with this i can push it but then i have to kind of hold it and it's always like well, well make sure i'm not gonna drop it you know and then i can carry this so kind of removing uh removing it from the user list um uh, but overall overall let me push this back inside but overall as i mentioned this is the easel i take with me as of my secondary easel still i'm gonna migrate or graduate this to, and take my yugo with me as a secondary or i was thinking maybe even get another uh, day tripper secondary day tripper because i just love the design and simplicity of the day tripper um or i'm gonna use my own that i design and it's in production already so ease of use i would give only three uh, based on you know ex my experience with other measles now let's talk about modifications now modification on this box is very very the five five star because it's a wood you can attach anything you want uh, because that's a wood you can screw you can you know modify it you can replace the parts so easy so only my one modification that I, I did for this easel because I'm you can see it's not really uh, I didn't abuse it I took it maybe I don't know how many times it was in my bag as a secondary or in my car as a secondary uh, easel many 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 times uh, and I use it only several times um, and maybe this is why my experience with this is not really uh, pleased I'm not pleased with this easel uh, because I didn't use it but um, again I didn't I'm, I'm not using it because my experience that it's not really easy to use maybe that all right so modification the only modification that I did on this easel is this this is a screw with a circle or you know the hole inside which you can easily buy from home depot or lowe's uh, with the threads it's a very tiny one you just screw it inside put a ring and put the uh climbing or key key uh clamp or rock climbing clamp and that's it so why you have this very simple if you're using a turp can or a brush washer it's easy to hang like this okay so it's hanging on your on your box so basically if you painting it's like this it's hanging and then it's attached so it's not um, sitting on on the wing and you can knock it out and you know uh, spill the uh, turp or whatever you're using <clears throat> or game salt so this is the only one modification and normally i i if you can see it's it's attached i can remove it i can remove this and keep it on my uh turp can and have it like this but for some reason i have it on every easel so if i can modify i have it on every easel and it's actually uh, hanging like this so it's good fast easy and fast setup uh, my approach to plein air painting is fast you have to paint fast make sure uh, you see the colors right uh, you see the shapes right you can spend time sketching a little bit longer but when you actually paint uh, you want to paint fast and also the light is changing and you need to paint, paint, paint fast uh, so the faster and easier setup is much much better than what I'm looking for any easels when I purchasing any easels all right so this is ease of ease of use and modification actually we're talking about modification um, so you can modify I you know as I mentioned before I already um, reinstalled the hinges easy I installed this I removed the uh, knots I can put any other knots I can put actually I'm thinking about installing some magnets to support those wings maybe start using it because I have it uh, I thought of selling it, but and then I said, oh, you know what? I, I kind of like it as well. 
I know I'm not using it, but maybe I should start using it and, and uh, maybe find something something good about it. I mean, there's <laughs> okay. Let me go back. It's not bad. This easel is great. This was a Rolls Royce of the, all the easels, and it's still in some cases a Rolls Royce. The craftsmanship, the materials. Uh, the only thing I don't like this. But some some artists like whoa, this is a great idea of how to use a, you know how to set up the easel or canvases on this panel. I mean on this easel. There, there's a lot of opinions. I'm just giving my opinion, my review. Um, I don't like compared to my day tripper or uh, this is and actually yes, I was you know what I just thought <laughs> this is just a thought. I was spoiled by Day Tripper. Josh, you just spoiled me. Um, so that's a reason why I liked so much Day Tripper because it's just so easy to use and uh, why I'm giving this only three or four stars out of five on uh, ease of use, on uh, uh, design and so on. But it's still good, really good easel. If, if you, you know, if you like the wooden kind of style and look you know more professional because a lot of people are using still using uh this easel it's really you know kind of hard to break i believe item number five item number five will be price lead time and support so price is around uh 250 i think they just raised the prices a little bit uh depends on the size of the easel but it's around 250 with no accessories okay uh lead time is very very long they claim on their website that you know each easel is made by hand. I was waiting for four uh, weeks, basically months, uh, to get this easel. So if you want to purchase this easel, you know, order it right now, and we will be waiting. And probably right now you'll be even waiting more uh, because I know the lumber is went up, the price went up. Um, I'm not sure how they operate, so lead time will be probably longer. Now, support is another thing that um, I kind of don't like. Uh, you can send them email, you can call them. It will take time. Let's put it this way. It will take time to get to them. Uh, and I think the reason why it will get get time to get to it, because it's just, just small operation. Uh, and they're not used to get to a lot of you know, broken pieces, so you have to reorder it. This is positive actually than negative sometimes people tell me oh you know what i'm buying this from this store because they have a lot of stores or they probably have a lot of stores because you know you have to replace a lot of things um having you know, less stores is actually not bad it's actually sometimes good uh, so it's showing that you know the piece is built well and nothing is breaking i have this easel for almost four years and nothing i'm not and I'm I'm, t I'm not painting, I'm not using it as a you know, my, on daily painting, but I'm taking this easel all the time with my trips, and sometimes you know it's it's moving, I'm you know, tossing it, and so far I don't see any any problems on this easel. So uh, maybe you don't need that support. Um, with other easels, I, I know that like Strata, right away they they will call you right away, they will send you email right away. Um, even though it's just solid metal piece of, and, you know, box, uh, I mean, box, metal piece of box. Can I say metal piece of box? Maybe. All right, so uh, support is, mm, you'll be waiting. But overall, get, don't get me wrong, overall, I would strongly recommend this easel. Even though they have these problems, you know, the, you may find this easy. It's probably mentally, uh, I, I'm spoiled with Day Tripper. Uh, so if you don't have experience with Day Tripper, you probably will love this easel. So overall, I will give, even though I have three stars on um, maybe on ease of use, I have four stars on materials and craftsmanship, I would give five stars to, to overall experience with this easel. It's just when you arrive, when this easel arrived and I pulled this from my, from the box. It was like, wow, the smell and everything. Stupid, right? <laughs> so I would give this easel probably four stars. Out of five, I would give four. All right, 
So this is my opinion on this easel. How easy to uh, collapse, you know, just untie this, untie this, hold this, or you can drop it, untie this, you know, a lot of knots to untie. Then move this piece to the front, close it, and then move everything to the front and then tie it, everything. It's a, it's a second, so it's not that bad. Make sure this wings are tight and then and it's ready to go to to your box. I like this because it's uh, compared to my day tripper, which is two pieces, like pallet, and I have it right here, it's all, all the time. And this piece, uh, which is, in my case, it's attached to uh, to the easel, I mean, to the uh, uh, tripod, so I, I don't carry two pieces. This is literally one piece. All you have to do, just collapse it, close it, put it in the back, do some more small modifications. You may find, find it, everything fine without any modifications just try it but overall it's you know it's it used to be a rolls royce or catalog on uh plain air market space or network uh for some cases for some artists it's still number one uh easel they some people love it and they reordering the same easel because they custom to pay on just one box never tried probably another another boxes i just I just love you know comparing uh, having other easels just compare what is it much much easier and faster so but overall uh, four stars out of five I would recommend this I have some several easels that I'm probably gonna do just for sake of showing I have some easel that I would do a review and at the end I will say I don't recommend this easel I have two of those just sitting just for, you know waiting for that moment when I'm really in a bad mood so I can do <laughs> no I'm kidding um, so but overall really good really good easel so even though it's small I'm really particular or and spoil uh, with day tripper that's why I'm giving three and four and not five stars if I didn't have my day tripper easel I would give this five 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 probably well, maybe four on this mechanism but overall good easel try it uh, um, the website will be at the bottom their website how to order it very easy they have good images you can go on youtube and find some um, other videos how to set it up but i think i just show you how to set it up so this will be all if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe a lot of stuff is coming i actually you can see this this is charleston so i just came back from plain air in charleston south carolina organized by knobs and I'm actually working on as it was I have a lot of footage a lot of files to put together and I'm working on that uh, plane air trip so um, uh, I took you with me kind of and uh, I'm working on this on on the um, on the days so it's coming next um, in in my uh, channel so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the bell hit the like and support and because a lot of stuff is coming uh, i committed to do a one video a, a week uh this week or this two weeks were because i was in charleston came back uh and had a lot of stuff unpacking and uh blah 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 and get actually getting ready for the next one so i will take you to the next one as well so subscribe bottom line subscribe if you already subscribed to my channel <laughs> Thank you very much for supporting me. I'm receiving a lot of messages, a lot of questions, and I will try to address all these messages. I reply right away, but also I'm actually keeping those questions. If it's you know making sense to shoot an actual separate video, I will do so because I'm having a lot of fun. Don't hesitate to send me uh, messages, connect with me. Uh, we'll have a lot of painting uh, together uh, through uh, another side that I'm supporting. I'm actually organize that site and I'm the owner of that uh, of that business it's called my art retreat I'm rebuilding it right now uh, and I will be promoting it it will be about getting together paint together and showing some painters also we'll have some competitions yes we'll have some competition with some rewards or awards uh, but the main role of this my art retreat uh, uh, business side is to get get together get beginners people who wants to paint uh, learn how to paint 
together with the artists and so on, so on, so on. So I already talked to seven, many, many artists and they kind of like this idea, so we'll be getting together, uh, you know, if God will give us a uh, life to live. So this is all for today. Stay tuned and thank you for watching it and we'll see you next time. Here we go!